All construction activities will be allowed to resume from Monday. This was revealed by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley as he noted that there continues to be a downward trend of COVID-19 cases from June into July. Sunil Lala reports. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is allowing all construction activities to be reopened on Monday. His statement came after epidemiologist Dr. Avery Hines indicated that there was a 20% decrease in COVID-19 cases in the past week. Last Saturday, Dr. Rowley indicated that from July 5th, only state construction would be allowed to open. After consideration, he says private construction would also be allowed to resume, but is warning persons in the sector to be vigilant. I'm talking here now about thousands of people who would now be allowed to come out and go back to the normal day's work. Please be careful. The Prime Minister is also allowing laundromats to resume its operations. We are going to allow laundry services. And of course, I know a lot of people have their laundry to do. Please do not now convert the laundry. Laundries are normally very small spaces. Don't go and congregate there and catch COVID in the laundromat. The Prime Minister says very soon the service sector and food and beverage sector could reopen once there continues to be a continuing downward trend of cases. If we continue on that downward path with no alarm, we should be able to turn and pay some attention to cautiously reopening the service sector, especially I know the one that is most out front, which is the food service sector, and we have not forgotten you, we're not ignoring you. Dr. Rowley, though, says government is concerned about the deadly Delta variant and urged the population not to let their guard down. Because until we get a confirmation that somebody has the Delta, we don't know that it's not here until it is confirmed. It might very well be here, but we haven't picked it up yet. And the first time we'll know is when the first person is picked up. So let us be alert to the existence of it around. Both epidemiologist Dr. Avery Hines and Principal Medical Officer Dr. Miriam Abdul-Richard says there have been positive signs of a decrease in COVID-19 cases, which has translated into a slow decrease in persons being admitted to the parallel healthcare system. Sonolala, TTT News.